<laughs> so, we've got Danny McDonald versus Gary Brown. Yeah, there's a fair amount. It's not like, oh, sorry, I totally didn't read that because I was talking rubbish with other people. Um, yeah, there is a fair amount um, that deals with it, but it is also just one of these cards. It comes down late enough where that might have been used, like, running through. So you've got to consider how much is going to be left in the tank, how much is going to be available. So that's, that's the main problem with it is... You think about what's left in the player's tank, what they might have, like what they are able to play, compared to what they have, like here's what's left, here's what's available. So. Right, we've got Danny McDonald versus Gary, which is table one. Danny and Danny. Gary and Danny. Cool. I need to stop drinking water. Sure. My body hates it. Okay. You get the weirdest snippets of information. Like I walked past and Todd was shouting across the room, do you want to buy a volcanic island? To you. No, to Gurney, I think. Oh, okay. You're just shouting it across the room. <laughs> yeah, they handed me the play at the pairings, and I was like, please not Gurney, please not Gurney, please not Gurney. He lost to Danny. Danny's the only 15-pointer as well. Hey, that's good. I know. Righty-ho, just me again. So got Gary, who we know is on Naya. And we've got Danny, who is on lots of others who could be on anything. Danny's a big drafter. Gary plays lots of things. Right. Karen say time starts now, so I'm going to start our timer. That's a solid eight of three dice for Gary. Didn't see what Danny rolled. So we know Gary's on dinosaurs. Danny is not going to show us. I saw blue. Oh, that's aggressive. That is an absurdly aggressive start from Danny. Gary to 18. Good lord. Let's see if Gary has a, has a two drop. He does, it's a 1 3. It's a 1 2. It's a Tabit Cunt Master. It gives a Makes dinosaurs cost less. Taps to give dinosaurs haste. Danny crashing in with 3 1. Gary's going to 15. And a Legion Conquistador with no other Conquistadors to go find. Let's see what Gary's follow up here is. That's a 2 5. That's pretty good. 2-5 suitably blanks Danny's board here. That's a majestic Helio Helioterrace. I'm going to get Helioterrace. When it attacks it gives Another target dinosaur flying into another turn. So, Danny's gone to the air, which is somewhere that Gary's deck is not very good at fighting. Ooh, I should probably change this. There we go. Uh, just the dryad from Gary, still holding up the 2-5. Probably going to take 6 in the air here. 
uh, five in the area. The uh, Helio Terrace is only a two-two. There we go. So five in the air coming over, putting garage ten. And a bishop of the bloodstain, I think we worked out that one was called. Bring in Danny a one one. It's a land from Gary. He's got five mana available to him. Is a 3 2 reduced obviously by the Atomic Cutmaster. It's the Enraged Joe. Is it 4 1? Is it 4 1? Yeah. He just beat Popo. He's, yeah, he's table 3. Wow. How are the decks looking? Okay, that's a uh, life total difference. So Danny's deck is horrendously fast. It was turn 1, 1 mana 1 with haste, turn 2, Legion, uh, turn 2, 3 1. 3 1. Raptor's Companion. Yeah. Turn three, Conquistador finding nothing. Nice. She's just Time for the Conquistador. <laughs> Majestic. I've decided that it's probably Helioterus. Uh, Helioterus. Helioterus? Uh -huh. Okay. Gary killed the dude. I don't know. Gary killed oh, no, no, no. It got O ring. No, that's Bishop E O ring. That's bad. You got he 100. Okay, this is really, this is really, really bad for Gary. Oh, that was his 2 5. So it's gonna give a creature. Plus it's gonna give some. It's gonna give, probably give itself plus two plus two. Yeah, plus two plus two. So not the best thing in the world, but not horrendous. Attacking as a three three is pretty decent. So presumably, um, the Helioptorus gave the loyal companion flying, mm -hmm. and Gary is gonna. That's a one two on the one one, a three two on a two two, and a two two on a three two for the blockers for Gary. So he's gonna take five in the air. And have a land. He's gonna kill a guy. And have a land and do a, do a combat trick. Uh, that's plus one plus one on first strike. Mm -hmm. That's gonna take care of that. Keep the guy that untaps land to make two plays next turn, hopefully. Yep, so Gary's gonna take five, go to five. And trade off everything. No, eat every creature. Trade off everything, there's an enraged trigger, so put Derek, Gary, uh, Danny to 18. Oh, the amount of Gary and Danny in this matchup is absurd. Mm. And the Goblin sacrificed himself to finish off the Atomic Cutmaster. Hunt the weak drawn for Gary. That's really good. Yeah. They'll take care of the Helioptorus. It will also make it will also increase the um Raptor Companion um to a five three, forcing the trade, because Bishop would bind him. So he attacks and gives the raptor plus two plus two, meaning it's lethal. Yeah. So he trades off, and then the bishop will give itself plus. Yeah, we're not two plus we're two. not trying to find ways of Danny winning this game. <laughs> we're trying to find a way of Gary coming back in. Targeted himself, so it targeted itself, and Gary had a pump spell. And Danny had a pump spell. Okay, and sure. it's lethal. So that was a fairly quick game. One. Gary, I said good luck, and maybe we'll see you. Uh, at five one, and he went. I doubt it, and now I do as well. He said, "I doubt it." Well, that start by Danny is kind of exactly why I believe this is a really aggressive format, and yeah. even with only some part of your deck being able to do that, it's pretty good against all of the other decks. Yeah, I mean, all he's really missing is like a Sky Terror or this thing, Relentless Raptor. That card is ridiculous, by the way. Yeah, Relentless Raptor. It's not one we've talked about. We can put it on screen. This thing. Mm -hmm. Look how broken this is. <laughs> it's a 2 out of 3 through Vigilance. Oh, it has to block each combat. Yeah, but if you play on turn 2, it's probably going to block something that's not going to kill it. And it's just going to abyss them <clears throat> for a couple turns. And if that trades for like three or four creatures, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, also like, worst case scenario, you can stick... There's lots of auras that you can stick on this kind of thing. Like, you can give it plus two, plus two on lifelink. Uh, plus one, plus one lifelink if you're on blue. And it has huge standard implications in Mardu vehicles. 
Yes. It doesn't have to block if it crewed a vehicle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It can, uh, it can attack for three and then crew a vehicle to block, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's got vigilance, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Hmm. You, you want to see them match up against each other. The Marty Vehicle Mirror match? No, in like limited. I'll play one. I'll play one. Oh, great. Great. Great? <laughs> no, we both lose them. <laughs> then one of them has a sure strike. or a Yeah, no, it's like the other or... person is untapped. So it's yeah. like whoever plays it first, realistically. Yeah. <laughs> I play the Dinosaur Lord. It's like, great. <laughs> the Dinosaur Lord is a seven mana five. Oh, Okay. I thought they would all be two twos that just have, oh like two mana two twos that give no, yeah. only Merfolk and Vampires have one oh, okay. Pirates don't have a three a two drop they've got um, Admiral Beckett Brass as their lord <laughs> what a name Admiral Beckett Admiral Beckett Brass and they've also got this thing which is absurd mm-hmm. Dire Fleet Neckbreaker also something we haven't seen because no one wants to play Black Red which I think it's is a exactly, shame like, I think it's probably because Pirates rely more on Synergy than the other ones do like the dinosaurs have if you control another dinosaur like and it's not on a lot of things and merfolk yeah, no, okay, tend yeah, to yeah, have yeah, makes sense. give a merfolk something so you're expecting to see much more of the pirates and in the vampires draft yeah where you're able to pick up a lot of them whereas yeah. the others function just as you have seven of them yeah overall which is why we see a lot of dinosaurs in sealed and vampires and vampires <laughs> Quickly. Oh, he's changed deck. He's changed deck. He's changed oh, okay. deck. He's changed deck. That's okay. why he showed us. He's now playing green blue. Okay, that's fine. Goo. Yeah, that's why he showed us. That made a lot of sense there. Yep. Oh, oh no! Danny dropped a forest. Oh no! Did he? <laughs> Gary's dad. Oh, Gary dropped. It's a like forest. Uh, no. I was gonna say Danny was shuffling. If Danny had dropped, yeah, a forest. that would have been horrendous. That would have been really bad. Um. So yeah, Gary's that's why you see things like dinosaurs or vampires because you don't need more of, you don't need a lot of them for it to be good you oh, just Gary need five. some of them that sucks especially on the draw against what? an aggressive well what he thinks is an aggressive deck yeah if you're in Danny's position do you would you change? you want it up you know that if you lose you're <laughs> going to be back on the play well you know if you lose you're going to be back on the play and then you have the aggressive deck so why not true so he's, on the, he's on the draw with his more he may be his slower deck, deck yeah or maybe his, maybe his two drop heavy, not one drop heavy deck. That's not a bad shout. Yeah. So Gary's on the play here. I mean, this happens. Five. We, I, I've done this in league when we're playing like a best of three series. You win game one, so you pull out some of the weird, like some of the your, your slightly weirder plays. That's no land. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you pull out like your weirder champions, like maybe your off meta stuff. Sure. Because if you lose, you can go back to playing meta in game three. <laughs> Again, you've already won, so maybe you like go back to the old the way you played game one. That's why I keep risky hands when I'm one 0 up. I don't do that anymore. No. Nah, I do it when I'm one 0 down. Because they've got a higher reward. You've got something like, to prove. Less lands gives you more spells, so you've got yeah. more opportunity to pull something off. Whereas if you keep like that safe hand, maybe you lose again because that's what you did game one. So now you risk it. Really, if I'm one 0 up, I'll just play the same game I did game one. Just going fair. Gary's on four against Keep. a seven. He has two lands. You can't. Well, he sat hide there going, "This is against an aggressive deck." Yeah, he's like, "I am." And then Danny's going to go Gary's like, island. Island. <laughs> Plains. Plains. What? He's playing Bant. He's playing Bant. Or is he just green white? It might be blue white. It was definitely blue. Yeah, I think that was definitely green as well. So, no. Okay, so it's blue white. It's just blue white. You're happier now. So he just swapped out the red for the blue. That's a rage creature. Yeah, but he didn't have any way to raid it, so you just play it, right? You could never just hold back raid creatures because they had raid. Woo-woo! <laughs> and here, is, here Danny is kicking himself for playing his slower deck against in this match. Yeah, if Danny had the aggressive deck. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's a five drop. Excellent. That's Enrage Mega Sapling. Oh, that's the Sapling dude. That's the Sapling dude. City Blessings dude. No, no, no. Enrage Mega Sapling. Yeah, but it also has Ascend. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. That, that guy's... Oh, no, that's in the upkeep. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's... This guy's a common. He's like a 4-4. There you go. Yeah, he's he is. an arm sword. Fantastic creature. And then he's mana screwed. Punished. <laughs> oh, that's a bounce Put it spell. in your hand. Hit him for two. And if you have the Seed's Blessing, something else happens. Uh, uh Danny... Two. two here? Oh, no. Yeah, Danny should have taken damage. Uh, I dealt damage to Gary instead. No, I did, they both have taken damage. There you go. There you go. Keys the door, no value. Conquest the door, nothing. Like, you're, sh you're playing that as a curve filler here. Oh my! Oh my god! <laughs> this is a Malta 4, gentlemen. <laughs> We've got a game! Take 10, says Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Either take 10 or give me a sap relay. <laughs> no, he's traded with the thing, so he's taken 8, going to 10. Yeah, Gary, um... Gary got game. That's insane! He must have drawn gas! That dryad is literally wow. the only reason he was in this game. What play 5 drop and turn 4? Yeah. And then a 5 drop and turn 5. Well, and then replay the 5 drop and attack for 2, and then play another guy, yeah. Wow. It's the only reason he's still in the game here. That's so plus that's, 1% on life link. Yeah, and make a 1-1. One, one. So I don't think it's going to matter. It's an attack for 2, but go yeah. to 15. Yeah, and go up to 12. Go up to 12. And he's going to get to block the big guy, because you don't want to give your opponent a sapling, right? They're both as big. They're just as big as each other. Yeah, but you don't want to give a sapling. Yeah. It's Gary's problem. having... like. Gary has real trouble getting to white mana. Yeah, but isn't his white just a splash? Yeah, he's, he's drawn a Luminous Bonds now. I think. Oh, that's going to be game. That was a land. Settle. Oh, he's only got... He has two white. Oh, I think got, he's got... Well, some. blue, blue. He's got... Ooh. Woo. 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 <laughs> woo. Woo. I mean, woo. Woo. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to a theater game stream. Welcome to the, the professional stream. Professional strum. Leg the legacy strum is going to be even less professional because I think it'll just be me. Oh god, really? Yeah. It means I don't get. I, when, when I go to the bathroom, the stream is silent. Fun. Just put it back to the interest grid. No, there's like no, there's like nothing happening, so I just leave it. Oh, I I didn't show you this. Um, so yep. the text box mm -hmm. doesn't extend far enough to you pre-release. If I show you this, hang on. No, it, it... Yeah, th this? Yeah. This is a different deck box. No, it does. You just need to drag it across. Mm -hmm. No, so, yeah, if you put more text in there, you can do that. Or you no. can reduce the text size. No. It, it does do it. Trust me, it does, because I've put much longer text titles in there. <laughs> well, maybe you can reduce the text size. I couldn't work out how to do that. You just... Uh, pre yeah, do that. And then right-click on the big one. And then where it says... Uh, layout. No, there's there's nothing. You can you can somehow I know you can because that's how you do it. All. Um, but uh, yeah, so Danny's losing. Danny's at six. And Gary is probably two less than thirteen. He's got another. He got a paladin of the blood Christ. Yeah, he's doing some blocking. Yeah, he's trading yeah, with two uh, saplings. No, one damages out at the same time. Two sources, but damage, yeah, that makes sense. Damage that at the same time. Yeah, so the armor saw is dead, but again... Uh, Dan took two from this, he's on four. Go... No, he gained life. He booked with lifelink vampires. That is correct. He took zero. Nicely done. <laughs> but again, it's pretty solid multi four. I mean, if the worst bit is if Gary loses, he's like, yeah, but I'm multi four. And then if he wins, he's like, dude, to beat on a multi four. Like, There's no downside here. Just like, can't see me. What are you going to do? That's a 1-7. That's a 1-7. And a no attack. Yeah, he Go can't attack Gary. now. He can attack. How big's the guy at the top? 2-4? Two, no, 2-3. Two, 2-3. Three. Two, three. So yeah, he like realistically couldn't attack. Because he blocked the big guy, took 3, and went to Gary five, can't but... attack anymore. Uh, it depends on trick. Depends on tricks. On board, Gary can't attack. Because he's got a 4-4 four, four that gets blocked by the 1-7, and a 2-3 that gets blocked by the 2-3. An attack just nets Danny a life. Two life. Two life. Well, a life, because the sapling gets him. 
Alright. Okay. So Gary, Gary, Gary wants to go for it. So how big's the middle guy? 4-4 four, four or 5-0? Five, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, mind games. Love it. Danny ha- uh, Gary has nothing. Trigger, says Gary. Okay. Oh, get a white sauce. Sensible. He doesn't get a white sauce. Okay. I love it. has got a Mirage Plains. <laughs> then yeah. just more recent, like Kaldash Forest and Mountain. So weird, isn't it? I think they're actually excellent. I think they might be, yeah. Yeah, those mountains are excellent. Uh, oh, one damage to Danny's creatures. Oh. Uh, oh, that's good. Oh, it's one damage to all creatures. Yeah. Uh, so he gets to find another land, but that thing dies. Yeah. No. Yeah, it does. Danny. Danny. That dead. Okay, okay. I'm closer. No. Uh. Does it only deal damage to his creatures? It only deals it to his creatures, right? One damage to each creature without flying. Oh, okay. That's cool. Gary didn't realise it either. Nice. Uh, so Gary might now lose this game. Yeah, but he modded four, so it's fine. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Have you? Is this a recent life title change? Uh, it's correct. Yeah. Nothing. No life titles have changed since you left. So cool. But Gary now does have mana to deal with the flyer. Yeah. What's he dead? Danny's attacked. Yeah. So he goes to ten. Danny. Gary goes to eleven. I think that was kind of what he was trying to do. Why didn't he not just wait a turn? Oh, because he thought he would have killed the flyer because yeah. it had two damage marked on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it apparently only deals it to non-flyers and Gary didn't realise until he'd cast it and went, oh, okay. That's a 6 That's six. a dude. And he can Luminous Bonds or not? No, it doesn't no. have mind. Okay, that's fine. I think it's a Luminous Bonds. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, 3-3 three, three fly. Okay. Yeah, Thonk is pretty much <laughs> the correct sum up there. <laughs> like... Don't know if you're trying to type thank or not, but thonk is even better. Like, thonk is the correct response. He's the correct term here. Well done. So Danny's Gary is on a three-turn clock. Yeah, he does have ten power, but his opponent does have a one-seven. And he's gaining This puts Gary to two life six. Turn. Danny's just sort of taken over control of the dice. Gary has, yeah. Yeah. Not it's two-three flyer. That's a good card. Dead next turn. That's a good card as well. Dead Definitely dead. Turn. Gary Star Extinction. He's got a Luminous Bonds. Don't think it matters. On a flyer it does. Yeah. Does it? Or oh, maybe not. Don't. Well, he's got five in the air. So he puts Gary to one. But and then two other creatures. Yeah, which he has to block. Which you will have to block. Uh, and then he Gary untaps wow. and he goes, oh wait, hang on, yeah, I don't have any room. What an absurd multi four. He needed it as well. He just didn't draw the trick when he needed so it. So close. He was close. He nearly got there. And then Danny lifelinked his way out of the hole he was in. Yeah, that one was pretty good. <laughs> we want Gary to win as well. We want Gary to win as well. We want a game three. We want to see if Danny pulls out a third deck. <laughs> or goes back to the red-white one. Just serve some spicy black green. Mono black. Mono black. Mono black? <laughs> Are we going to play some sealed with this, I think? This looks like a fun format. We'll have to have you over. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, well, if I had an outbound mic, I'd stream it, but I don't. I've only got my heads up.
Stop. You've met. There we go. Who's hey, Hello. I fixed it. Can we? Can you hear us now? Sorry, I broke Alex, the sound. Alex is terrible at this. I am not. You are. Lies. Um. So I'm going to try and fix this while you're doing your thing. Um. So yeah, that was a pretty insane multiple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. looming yeah. imperial saw kind of bricked oh, it for a bit. It's frustrating, Cash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good one with the it's, it's just a bit irritating, isn't it? It's just sort of... Yeah, it's just a one second. Like but yeah, nice colossal grimoire. <laughs> yeah. I would have been more scared if you're playing black, so I thought if you kill the Althor, I take six trample damage, I could be big, but I don't think there was anything in green or red that... Uh, they can deal with it not only in conjunction with damage already being dealt, so like yeah. if you demolish it, you have to deal with a bit of damage rolling over. So. Lots, of, yeah. lots of buffs in green red. Yeah, lot of lot of buffs. Yeah, so we've talked to Gary. A Poor bit. Gary. <laughs> tell us about your pool, Danny, and tell it's, us about your both of your decks. Both my, it was a very good pool. Had playable in all five colours, which kind of made it hard to decide what to do. Sure. Um, I didn't ever play Waker of the Wilds. So I had in green. I think that's a really good. That is yeah, a I'm really good card. good card. Yeah. And Champion of Dusk, new card from Black, the four four vampire. You draw cards and lose life. The number of vampires you got. Yeah. You know, it's a good card. Dangerous card. <clears throat> Dangerous card. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd put it in a dedicated vampire deck. Why not? Because you play it and you lose that card. You, you just don't cast it. You must be at least a parity, yeah. right? And then you, if you're well behind, you just jump with a few until you can. You've got cast. eight vampires, sure. you attack, gain four life from your lifelink. And I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so the lifelink side you, of it is you have pretty good. over whether you play it or, or not. It's sure, that's, that's fair. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't play either of those because I had. The red six drop dinosaur attack be the primal storm. Italy the primal storm. Yeah. The oh, the red other dinosaur. Probably, I think that's probably pretty the best good. card in my deck, my main deck. I think it's good. Like yeah. it just you like fifth. You're pretty much always going to get a spell. It doesn't matter if it dies in the first combat. It goes in. You still. Yeah, you get the spells. Spell. So. Six, 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 and yeah. The relevant ability. You yeah, six, six mana six six is traditionally is it good. When it attacks, or it does not. When it attacks. When it attacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it attacks. Yeah, sure. So you're like. You're almost guaranteed to get one spell, sometimes two, very rarely none. So uh, apparently, spell. you have to cast a spell as soon as you attack, and they're exiled. You can't wait on them. That's uh, what Kieran said. I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, well, Kieran is a judge. Yeah, I think. But yeah, yeah, it's not until uh, end of turn you may cast it or anything like that. Yeah, yeah then, then you may. So you have yeah, to do yeah, it yeah. there and then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is also good because it says like it means you can cast like sorceries in an instant speed and everything. Yeah, you can just cheat. Yeah. <laughs> you can just you can just cheat. It's like, that's not how that works. Yes, yes it is. Uh, why can't I select so this thing anymore? It's kind of the red right aggro with three one drops, five two drops, a bunch of threes and fours, and then yeah. a couple of flyers at five and Atali at six. And a few combat tricks. Had that. Seems pretty good. It was solid. Like the, the one mana T1 vampire that becomes a flyer later in the game is quite good. Um, yeah. And the hasty... <laughs> Hasty one on the campaign. Hasty one one, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. gentleman in the chat uh, says his previous isn't an hour. Any tips for the format from you, gentlemen? Be aggressive. Yeah. Curve. Prioritize curve. Aggressively <clears throat> put two drops into your deck. Yes. <laughs> two drops, good. Two drop is good. There are so many two drops as well that have some kind of pseudo or actual yeah. evasion and ability. Yeah. I think there's a lot of really powerful rares, rares that seem yeah. like be mythics. All the cycle of big dinosaurs. So, <laughs> open some of them. Yeah, but they're also ridiculous expense. Like, 
six mana. The six mana one is like, but then the, the higher they go, disgusting. The black one is black ridiculous. Yeah. Played against the earliest. Just. I know the white one. Like, what do you do after they? Yeah, the white one. No, the one was the best. It's got <laughs> five, six well, keywords. Well, 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 when you get that, right, if you're anywhere near parity, <laughs> it creates parity, right, so or it wins you, you the game. Ten five going, well, 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 yeah, I think so. Yeah, so. Unless well, they've got the white one in play, in which case it doesn't. Yeah, and then the white one beats all. Sixty fifth touch in the arena. It's got death. Yeah, got to you could it in the arena. Yeah, that's very true. Do they have? Is, there's no reanimate in this effect in the standard, is there? There's, there's limited formats still. No, the red land eclipse. Yeah. Into, uh, oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's gross. Yeah, yeah, I think Squire's Devotion is a good card in this format because it's quite. Which one's that? Plus one, plus one, life link, and creates a one-one oh, yeah, yeah, card yeah. taken. It's very good for stabilizing against. Oh, really? oh, yeah, that card is I good. The, it's the blue white, the blue white tempo like, strategy. Love Seems it. to be a bit more balance and removal in this format than there was in Ixalan. Mm. Yeah. But the fact that you get the 1 yeah. 1 as well. As long as you just not kill the response, you're not. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. You get one, if you get one yeah. hit in with it, you've gained a chunk of life and you've still got one. Yeah. So it's not the end Seems of good. the world. Yeah, it's a big fan of that. Yeah, I, I tried all this, all these things, George. Shh. I needed that. One thing for the format, Ascend is easier to get than I thought it would be. It might be harder in Booster Draft, but in Sealed at least, almost every game I played yeah. at the end, there was room for yeah, Ascended I cards. Ascend to... cards so I wasn't tracking it quite that much. But... Yeah, okay. yeah, we didn't really see a lot of it. We didn't see it. Did you not? No, we didn't see it. Do we, we saw Ascend say. Horse get pacified. Yeah. Uh, that and that's basically yeah. it, yeah. I had my two on flyer come online. I had my Griffin, Splendent Griffin get Plus one, plus one counters. Got him up to a five-five. Mm -hmm. He's the. I mean, unless it's like hyper aggro. The thing is, even with the hyper aggro decks, like, mm -hmm. alright, the game will end quicker. But nobody's blocking in this format, so things don't trade off as much as they might. In, yeah. So the balls still build out. You get more stuff, but yeah, yeah, it's whether you've got time for it to be relevant. But things like the two one that you play anyway, just gaining flying. Well, that's very relevant in that sort of scenario. Yeah, I think the thing is, there's also a lot of combat tricks here and there that tend to just give enough to get through like or just to kill their guy and then next time end yeah, it yeah. the one minor trick is pretty good moment of triumph and see yeah mm -hmm. I tried this too yeah it's because you use the same font it's huh? be I don't Celos. care about font I remember if your opponent's creatures are pyro use the same font you have to okay yours isn't I have to leave it yeah shut up <laughs> I'm trying to fix this it's fine I did all of this. It took me about 10 minutes to set up the stream. 20 minutes to do this. All right. Look. <laughs> I built this thing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I like, quite like the format. I mean, from what I've seen. I haven't played it, obviously, because I don't do pre-releases. I like every format the first day I play it, so. It's just exciting playing the new cards, so. Yeah. It does seem good. Mm, that's that's the most important thing. If it seems good, it's fine. Generally, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Someone confirm my beliefs. Can't if you enjoy it. Very interested in finding out how fast draft is compared to Old Land, whether it's slowed down a bit. Uh, the removals I'm we're pretty sure this is fast. We're anticipating it speeding up a lot. Like, it doesn't matter about the, the quality of removal. When the removal is good, but four mana, two mana creatures are still king. Yeah, there's like the two mana minus two minus two gain life. That's, yeah, that's but I think the solid. the two mana level creatures are just that like you just have so many of them it doesn't hugely matter. Yeah. And if you're taking turn uh, like your turn two to kill their two drop, they just play another one or a three drop into double two drop. Like you're spending time killing their guys, you aren't actually putting guys into play, so their guys yeah. will still get through. Though there's enough plus six man, I think it's fair. Like I think it gets faster, but not too much faster. I think it just depends. Like obviously you can still play like defensive decks, but it's going to be. A bit more pressured. Yeah. Wouldn't be so many territorial hammer skulls at least. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. That card is annoying as hell. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh great, that guy. It's here. It certainly exists. Oh, the misclicks. The yeah, misclicks are so real. Do. Find the right font. The one that Elliot is using. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to not let go. The oh, top one, though. I won't play it, though. Really, yeah. Uh, I was trying to see if there's like a... There's not, way. doesn't seem to be a lot of fixing. How did you manage to make it do that? And like, there's a lot... Because I know I'm like doing. There's a lot less tre- treasure creation. Hilarious. Like, my pool has hardly any. And that used to be a great way to just, like, easily splash yeah. things. Now, that's interesting for sea... More of a sealed kind of thing. Definitely, Because yeah. you can... Um, <clears throat> yeah, you won't splash you. In, in x you can easily, like... Be three colors splashing a fourth of treasure, or something, like that, or two colors splashing a fourth. Like I've seen a couple of times, like someone's had like a blue white deck splashing. I've seen splashing the Hawatley off treasure, or something like that. Like Rocco did that once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you don't have enough treasure, you can't splash a splash a color. Like you can't be the five color treasure deck splashing, burning sun's avatar and whatever. No, it's not return to Africa full block with clue stone control. It's fine. <laughs> That was a horrible format. Yeah, um, no, it looks good though. Congratulations for being the only undefeated player. Yeah, good yes. And there's only going to be the like one other person at five wins, so. It's going to be Gurney, isn't it? Yeah, you were the only 5 0 player in that round, so. I think there's like two, like possible two people on five wins. So. Yeah, it's, it's possible, but one of them got a pair down, so. Okay. No, there was like an odd number all the way through. I think it was Gurney. I think Gurney can be the only other 5 0. 5 1. 5 1. 1? Yeah, there was, uh, Danny was the only person at 15 points. So. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 5 wins, I think Gurney is the Yeah, one. there's like, I think there's two maybe, but it's fine. But yeah, it's good to see you back at the top of the pre release. You know, now you get an ult- uh, maybe an ultimate guard bag. Do we still do those? No idea. No idea. I think Aaron mentioned it. Yeah, I think there That's is, but. That'd be my first ultimate bag. I'll Ooh. find out. What they have inside. Sleeves, crappy and sleeves, two deck and a deck box. I thought it might be. Yep. <laughs> the best thing is the bag. Because I think it may also have a lanyard in it for some reason. Oh, yeah, you get a lanyard. Yeah. So if you need one for work, you can walk around people asking, What's Ultimate Dog? <laughs> and you're like, Nothing, I don't know if I'm going to bin. Please stop talking. Some friend gave it to me. They got it free from somewhere. <laughs> from somewhere. I don't know anything from about work. it. Please stop talking to me. They, they got it from work, it's fine. Um, yeah. Wow. What prizes and you know a bunch of packs. Oh yeah, big old big old pile of packs. Yeah. Assuming you go to the GP. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. I've got an exam at the end of February, so I was kind of uh, thinking that's maybe a I should. Good reason not to, I suppose. But yeah. I'm getting tempted as a GP. Like it's it's the moment where you're like, you know, you want to study, but you also need a break. Yeah. It's like. And it's a weekend. I can afford the weekend to do the GP. I just can't afford to spend a lot of time preparing for the GP. So. Oh, probably, this weekend, probably worth getting anyway. You're six out of draft. <laughs> yeah, you just six out of seven event. That's literally a day two. Yeah. I can't grind. Woo. Two different decks. That's that's like double the practice. I'll yeah. spend all evening grinding seal on Mega. So that reduces the value of the GP. The GP uh, in London is uh, rivals Ixalan sealed. When is it? Two weeks time. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's Leon 20th. next so, weekend, and the yeah. weekend after that is yeah London. Better make my mind up for doing it. Yeah, the week. After release rather than the week of release. Yeah. Slight amount of time to prepare. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they never do release weekend sealed events because yeah. Jesus. It would be funny, but it would be a lot of drama. It would, but you, you well can practice on Modo still, but it would all be people playing pre-release like sealed as a practice. Yeah. And then being like, why didn't I open? Where's my extra rare? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, yeah, well, no, I don't six get that. Rares. Yeah, or, they just yeah. give everyone a pre-release pack. Yeah, it's like you, you can play the promo as well. It's fine. In the case of Brendan, would be worrying, wondering where his sixth, seventh, and eighth rares are. Yeah, the two foil rares. Two foil rares, pretty legit. I mean, what Kyle opened? We didn't even get Kyle on camera. No, it's because he refused to play the good decks. Bloody Kyle! It'd have won if he'd played our deck. He played John. His two worst colours were red and black. Yeah, he opened a gas blue uh, bant deck that we built for him while we were sitting here in about two minutes. He was like, literally, here are your good cards. Play these. Cut these bad green, red, and black, uh, black cards. These are so much better than you have. Yeah. No, I don't think so. He's like, oh, I'm not doing too well. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you played the bandex now? Okay, that'll be why. <laughs> good, good job, Carl. Good job. Yeah, Carl decided to play four mana two fours instead of two mana two ones. With flying or other evasion types. The four mana two four I like is that green one that reduced dinosaurs by two. Yeah, that was the one he was playing with about yeah. three dinosaurs. Okay, that's not so good then. It's not good. 
He was no. also playing, and literally most of the dinosaurs were like. He's also playing like a f- five mana five three with no abilities. With no abilities. Can I like that? And the abilities. the six mana four four tap three vampires return to your hand. Yeah, he had no other. He vampires. had one other vampire. So, so it's six just mana like four four with fly. Six mana four four fly. Uh, yeah, you need to finish it, right? That's playable and sealed. Yeah, he also. Yeah, that, that's playable and sealed if you don't have a better deck available to you. Yeah. 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 Like I'm pretty sure the reason he played Jund was he opened Dragon Skull Summit. And a green red card. Yeah. And he had an Evolving World. So yeah. he's like, I've got to fix him. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Evolving yeah. World's technically a fetch land. Can't fetch Dragon Skull Summit. So there's an issue for you. So but yeah. The I just Alright, what's the time of saying? Okay, it's time. So, thank you very much. Yeah. Prizes we'll probably be giving out in a yeah. moment. So, cool. Thank Kick you both out. very much. <laughs> and congrats on the win again. Yeah, cheers. And, and congrats unlucky. on a spectacular multiple. Well, we were saying, <laughs> actually, it was it was like, very briefly, it was like, well, I mean, if, if Gary loses, he can still just play and play multiple four. But if he <laughs> won, he can be all like, yeah, one of our four, it's fine. Yeah. I got this, no biggie. Yeah, it's win-win situation. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you, you've got an out. It's like, no matter what, you've got your plan. It's like, okay, it's fine. So, yeah, it's all decent. I definitely needed that. Would either of you like a Hokkaido melon Kit Kat? I had one with Joe, and it was terrible. No, melon Kit Kat? Yeah. Curiosity, definitely. (laughs) We had great ones, but they weren't terrible. They tasted like the colour they were. Yeah, they tasted sort of lilac. Yeah. (laughs) These actually taste like melon. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, they're always really tiny as well. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Is that because you wouldn't want them? (laughs) (laughs) No. I, I shouldn't eat more than like a Kit Kat because of diabetes, so <laughs> I'm not going to have another one. How weird is that? <laughs> it kind of just tastes like a milk chocolate Kit Kat. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, a, where I won't be so if there's an aftertaste or not. Like, you know, I don't yeah, like... A little bit of melon. Yeah. That's the I thing, mean, they're also really exactly a strong flavor. I'll put it out like the wasabi Kit Kat you get are delightful because it's barely wasabi. It's just a little bit of heat and then some chocolate in your lap. Sounds terrific. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice. Oh, Speciality heat. Japanese Kit Kat. So, Sounds weird. horrific. Like heat as in, oh, that's slightly like warm. I can tell it should yeah. be hot. Though. Yeah, you speak to someone who doesn't like slightly yeah. tight, okay. like warm. You've been hitting the Pepsi Max hard in here. No, it's not us. No, it's, that's, <laughs> I've yeah. been hitting that's the water story. hard. <laughs> I haven't had a Diet Coke. Yeah, I haven't had water all day. It's like six bottles in just that bag. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Seaweed is a nice flavour, as you just said. Yeah, I had seaweed. It's salty seaweed with some peanut in it, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very nice. But yeah. Tiki Stardust, how's it going? How's it going? It's, nice. going, it's going good. Going to the end. We're about to start wrapping up. Yeah, so that is the end of our main event pre release. Yep. Yeah. That was really enjoyable, actually. We were yeah, pretty fantastic. correct. Yeah, we were most of the time. We were correct about every single card that was played. And I didn't state anything about card prices, because I would be wrong. Uh, I think that it's been a good format. It let's, looks good. Let's not cut it. Okay, most valuable card in uh, Rivals of Exiline in two weeks will be... I don't think any of them will be. Most valuable card in set. Uh, like one of the Merfolk guys. Most valuable card Jade, in the set? Jade Light Ranger or something. What, money? Probably. Like... I'm going to guess it's Rekindling Phoenix. Oh, yeah, that's a card, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that. That yeah. may be. Yeah. That or one of the Merfolk. Like, I can see if, like, being, yeah. like... Yeah, because people are hyped for it. Sure. It'll be that or, like, the Merfolk or whatever another Merfolk ends up you until they get a plus one plus one counter. I have to put it to... Those even... three are probably going to be the highest value cards. Rekindling Phoenix, Hawali. No, it won't be Hawali. After rotation, Hawali's yes. hyped. Yeah, but after rotation, she's great. But right now, she's just going to get wrecked by vehicles. The, the green-black flippy enchantment could also be a big one. Maybe, yeah, I can see that as well. I can see the black-white one if there was a control deck around, but there isn't. Yeah. Um, but aside yeah. from that, uh, we've had some great matches on camera. Yeah, it's been good. We've seen people build a terrible deck on camera. Yeah. Um, Ugh, Blood, Blood Sun is not good. Blood Sun is a very, oh, very right bad now. Card. Okay, okay. I'm going to rant. Oh, here we go. Blood Sun is actually not playable in Modern or Legacy. Like, it is not eternally playable. Vintage, no. 
It's not uh, player in standard either. The, o- the, the o- it's not in modern. It's really, really not. Why are you playing Blood Sun over a Blood Moon? You don't effect? need a fifth Blood Moon. So the thing is, okay, it shuts off fetch lands, but it doesn't shut off things still to happen for mana, so they can still cast spells. They can answer the Blood Sun and crack their fetches. Like, the only deck that may well play it is, like, Green Red Tron. When was the last time you honestly saw someone sit down and go, oh, you know what? Instead of playing Green Black Tron, instead of playing Mono White, uh, Mono Green Tron. Green White Tron. Instead of playing uh, Mono... Uh, instead of playing Green White Tron. Why? Mono Blue Tron, even. <laughs> yeah, or even Blue Tron. I'm, do you know I'm going to sit down and play the, the original, less good Tron. Yeah. And I'm going to play Bloodstone in it, because Tron is completely open to new cards. It's not like the deck list has been refined constantly and literally has barely any flex slots in game one. So you're playing Living End. What lands do you care about that have abilities that aren't them tapping for mana? But Dukabog isn't going to get stopped by it. Like, but nobody plays that modern. Like, play Crimson Wisps. It, That's one it draws, draws a card. card. You're playing Living End. Read every creature in your deck and does it have the word cycling on it? Oh uh, yeah. Like you don't you don't need it, like you, I'm not telling you to play Blood Moon, I'm telling you to not play either of them because yeah. you don't need you the card. You don't need it. Like people are hype about it. it with supposed fetches. Your entire game plan is ignoring what the opponent does. You play Formulator Mage literally in order to deal with it. Oh it's Colonnade. You, you do know that they can have a colonnade out and you've live an end for like five guys. They aren't going to be able to activate the colonnade and you kill them. And if they wrath you, oh, look at this. It's live an end. They still go to the graveyard, right? Like, you're spending your turn three, right? It's two and a red. It's uh, just Blood Moon, but first. <clears throat> yeah, two and a red. Yeah. So you're spending your entire turn three, maybe turn two off of assuming Spirit Guide, in which case you're wasting your time with it. Then it's done. I understand counter magic. What happens if they counter the Blood Sun and you took turn three off? You went, nah, do you know what? I'm not going to cycle any cards. So Blood Sun doesn't shut up counter do magic. Like, they can still cast it. If you play Blood Moon, like I do in Ponza, they can't play spells. Like, maybe sometimes it's just hard to accept that you don't play a bad card because you believe in a bad matchup. The only card, like I said, Tron would be the only deck because it shuts off Tech Edge and Ghost Quarter. Yeah. They're the only cards which would actually matter to Tron. But you know what Tron does? It doesn't care. It just finds another land most of the time. That's what it does. Blood Sun itself is legitimately not playable in standard. There are no lands you actively care about except from Azkanta, right? Uh, it would be exclusively against Azkanta or if you really wanted to hate against Mono Red that much. But if you're taking, cool. mono, if you're taking your turn three off against Mono Red, you lost the game. And yep. if you're boarding it in against Azkanta, uh, against Azkanta next, they have cast out if they really care. And that's it, right? And that's it. Cool. In modern, what does it affect that actually matters to a deck that would play it? Well, fetches don't usually matter because people generally in their 24, 25 land mana bases play eight to nine fetches, which is roughly a third of their deck. Meaning they have 16 lands otherwise that would allow them to still produce mana whereas if you played a blood moon and they have four three basics they can't play spells guarantee this guy isn't even watching the stream anymore. like literally that's the end of it there is literally no reason to play it there oh no i could play it play it in legacy right oh yeah we shut down wasteland it shut down uh, a port and Oh, wait, the deck that plays those doesn't care because it plays, like, 12 basic lands and Aether Vial. And it also has Flicker Wisp. Oh, maybe it affects lands. Nah, lands doesn't care. It's fine. To answer this, any of the flip lands in standard, I just prefer to play Field of Ruin. Yeah, Field of Ruin would be straight up better because it also taps for mana. It doesn't mean you take your turn three completely off. It doesn't take a card slot in your deck. Yeah, two, quite literally, on turn three, do nothing. Like, it, it, the words on the card, it should just be blank. Like, it should say, when this enters the battlefield, draw a card. And you know what? That's actually fine for a red card if it costs one. Or a Phyrexian mana. Like, the card itself is just unplayable outside of... Yeah. No, no, it's just unplayable. Yeah, there you go. It's not like you're going to play in Vintage. There's no reason oh, to no, play it. No, it's playable in Commander. Because if you sure. don't yeah, yeah, yeah. want to ha- make your playgroup hate you... You can play it over Blood Moon and be fair about it. They could still play the spells. 
They just yeah. can't do broken things with lands. I am completely okay with you playing Blood Sun in Legacy and Modern because I will yeah. kill you despite your terrible card choices. And I will lose. Oh, I'll lose some fetch lands. Here's a Blood Moon. Oh, look, they're mountains. Like, it doesn't matter. The reason that Dehard won't see play is because whilst it shuts down some lands, it doesn't shut down all lands. If you play it and you're playing Living End and your opponent resolves a rest in peace, well, that that's game. Not like you can then respond, yeah. fill up your graveyard again, go. Or like kill it, keep going. Like cast the beast within. It's better to leave a beast within than to just randomly play this, which against, say, Jeskai Control shuts off six to seven fetch lands and two to three colonnade. And that's cancer now. Well, no, Jeskai doesn't play it. Oh, it's just the sort of... Jeskai doesn't play it, yeah. Okay. It's in like the blue-white The Grixis and Grixis. Yeah, and the Grixis decks. But no, they're moved away from land, man lands in some decks because of push. Oh no, well he shuts off man lands against affinity, but if you take turn three off against affinity, guess what? You're dead. Like, yeah. Blood Sun is more than hot garbage. It's a waste of cardboard and a waste of a slot in the set. We've lost so many viewers to this round. <laughs> so that's it. It's bad. Cool. We've talked about Blood Sun, we've talked about Rivals of Ixalan. We have streamed a six round Rivals of Ixalan pre release. Yeah, I have been George the Fail House Marriott. This I is been... Alex to Paul Moore. Uh, he looks like to Paul from Enterprise. Apparently. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. Um, you've been wonderful. Yep. And we will see you on Wednesday. Catch your late streams. Literally Streaming Legacy on, on Wednesday. This Wednesday. Probably me on my own. Possibly me. Yeah, if he's not working. If I'm not working. Or playing. Hey, that's play. fine. Don't play. Do some dredge. I don't want to have to put a deck list on screen and have to try and figure out in your graveyard. Dredge. Right, anyway, thank you very much. We will see you later. Goodbye. Peace.